What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. And of course it is the two year anniversary of the game's release. And that got me kind of thinking about how the game has had some ups and downs over uh, the last two years. Now when it comes to single player story, I think everyone will agree the story was absolutely amazing. One of the better stories uh, that I've played on this generation console and probably one of my top five favorite campaign like you know, kind of story games ever. But when it comes to everything after that, it's been kind of a disappointment. Uh, we have known about next-gen consoles for a while now and still have no information from Rockstar about how they're going to handle Red Dead Redemption 2 going forward, you know, kind of going forward with next-gen. We already have information about GTA 5, which is hilarious considering how long GTA 5 has been out compared to Red Dead Redemption 2. But that does show you the difference in the amount of people that play in the communities, you know, between the two different games. Also, online has had its ups and downs over the last two years as well. The online mode at times is a lot of fun. It's really fun to play. Everyone has a great time playing it. Uh, there's some, been some really good updates. People really enjoy you know, some of these updates. But there's also been times where the updates bring numerous bugs to the game, make it pretty much unplayable. Uh, and there's also been some kind of disappointing updates. Uh, a lot of people aren't really happy with, with the way they handled the whole Halloween situation. I think a lot of people are wanting more. From it and it's just been up and down when it comes to the online mode sometimes it's really great sometimes it's not so great but overall i think the online mode was kind of something that they have focused on you know since the you know since it was released in beta uh because really the, nothing else has been talked about uh, when it comes to story and i think over the last two years a lot of people were hoping that a lot of these rumors that there were going to be story dlc coming to the game would come true and of course, none of that has come true yet. And Rockstar's even gone on the record saying they weren't really planning on making any store DLC and it wasn't really in the future plans for the game. Now, will that always be the case? Who knows? Uh, but I think they were trying to go that GTA route and really make their money off the online mode and not really mess with the story mode as much anymore. And it's kind of sad, in my opinion, because like I said, Red Dead Redemption 2 was insanely good when it came to the story mode. And the online mode, like I said, is disappointed at times and has been fun at times. But I feel like there's a lot of the community that has kind of dropped off from playing. I think there's a lot of people that's like myself, where you'll play for a couple months when something new comes out and you'll kind of step away from the game for a couple months because there's really nothing to do. I think a lot of people have gotten bored with the game because it's, you know, you've done everything, you've bought everything, and you're kind of just waiting around for that next big update, uh, you know, for the next, you know, maybe some type of, uh, of, of a new kind of, role to play whatever the case may be and there's a lot of things the community has asked for over the last two years that really has not been added to the game as well and that's kind of disappointing also and i know it's going to sound like i just absolutely hate the online mode while that's not the case it is just in my opinion it gets boring at times because once you can't actually get on and play you're not having issues uh, you, you have done everything you've played as long as i have it, get, it does get kind of repetitive but at the same time, I do enjoy, you know, the repetitiveness of it. It's just a lot of times it's extremely broken. And that really, really makes it frustrating, in my opinion. Uh, you know, if you're getting kind of bored and trying to find new things to do, but you can't even get on to play, that does make the game pretty frustrating. I'm kind of curious what you guys think. Over the last two years, has Red Dead Redemption 2 lived up to what you thought it would be? Or are you kind of like I am and you really enjoyed the story? And you kind of feel that the online mode has had, you know, it's good it's good times and it's bad times as well. Anyway, leave me a comment with your thoughts. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you click the bell icon in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. And be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course, the affiliate here on the channel, GT Racing. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.